Hello Capricorn, this is your forecast here, your tarot forecast for July of 2015 and the month is starting with a big turn of events for you. Now you're going to be getting some insight or some news and I feel it's all good because you get the Wheel of Fortune here so things are really moving for you and then it's pertaining to something that I feel that you have been working on for a while. I see how you've been getting all your ducks in a row, uh, your vision of where you're heading and what it is you want to accomplish. So you've been doing a lot of great groundwork. There's only like one element now that needs to fall into place for this to really take on full shape and form. And this is probably the news that you might be receiving. And it's starting off top of the month here. So pay attention to that very last day of June coming into the first couple of days here of July. And I feel already by then you will know what this is all about. Now, looking into your financial uh, area, well, Capricorn here, I feel new beginnings are starting up. This might be pertaining to uh, some news that you will be getting. It's at least showing uh, that here throughout the month of July, you will know what you're taking home, what you're bringing in. You know what you already have. So that foundation is secure for you. But there must be something new that's going to be provided to you. And uh, this, I feel, is uh, excellent. You could always do with some more, right? So financially, things are looking great. As far as your communication sector this month here has to do with how and what you're communicating here with your partner, with your loved one. Now, I'm also seeing travel, so you can expect either to be traveling with your significant other, or uh, perhaps if you you live apart and there's distance between you, well, then you can expect a, a visit from your, your partner, or perhaps you might be visiting him or her, or it could be together that you might be discussing to go somewhere here together for a romantic uh, time. Uh, and it is great. It's actually catching up with those dynamic, intricate emotions that we hold and where life at times gets so busy, we're uh, being distracted here and there, uh, just following up on day-to-day -day routine. So this is time off. This is time for you guys and make the most out of it because when we nurture one another, it boosts our inner uh, energies and it gives us that much more of a thrust to move forward and feeling happy and more complete. When we're talking about relationships, I'm seeing here there's something somewhere uh, for some of you Capricornians that you would actually like to bring up to your significant other and maybe you haven't. Maybe for, you know, it could be a various amount of reasons, uh, probably because you're not wanting to create any waves. So you've been holding it close to your chest. This is the time, probably when you have these days together, to actually bring it up and bring it up in a very gentle way, but a very honest way. It's time to speak your highest truth. That's the only way that we can improve upon our relationships when we communicate those very deeper inner needs. And I'm feeling that you might be worrying um, maybe with reason, by, by all means, but you might also be worrying for no reason because I'm seeing as you're bringing it up, the apprehension of doing so, but I'm seeing the way it's being received. It's being received with open ears. Your partner's taking it in, acknowledging it, hearing it, and actually admitting to what might have been uh, the root of the conflict, the problem. So together, and notice the words together. Together, you're going to figure this one out, meaning that there's open communication here, which will allow you to, to actually start weeding out to those things that have been a little pressurized. And so this will allow both of you actually to start seeing one another in a new light, in more of a optimistic light. Within creativity here, I'm seeing that there is something now taking place, shape and form, uh, to a female. Now, this female could be a sister, she could be a friend, it could be a co-worker, uh, it could be a daughter, um, whatever the deal is and who she might represent to you, because after all, this is a, a general reading. Um, I'm seeing that she's been longing for something 
specific. And she's been working. She has been striving to move ahead to reach her goals. And she's got some news here of her own that she's going to be sharing with you. Probably, I feel, around the time of either the full moon or the new moon, uh, she will have uh, insights and news to share with you, which should actually be quite creative news. So I see you being really happy on her behalf. Uh, the two of you seem to be close and have been sharing for a while. So um, you could be happy for each other because you're going through a great month as well. Now, as far as home and family, though, for you, Capricorn, this month, I'm seeing there's two indicators of new beginnings. All right. You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So some good, happy, emotional news. And then some financial insight and news or also an offer coming your way, which will leave you feeling emotionally happy. And this will uh, take away whatever worries that I do see you're holding as far as security. And security is really important to you because you are Capricorn and you are, you know, ruled by Saturn. But you're also ruled by that opposite sign of you, which is the Cancerian side needing security. Uh, and so... For whatever reason you've been worrying, well, no longer because there is good news about uh, mm, either beginning a, a new cycle or there is news of money coming your way. And this will allow you now to, to walk away from whatever it is you've been balancing for some time. Now, as far as money being put aside, let's talk about that. Because I'm seeing here, due to whatever is taking place, and I'm feeling... That there could be an offer that might even take you away from the home space. If this is a career, it could be career change that's being offered. And since the change is showing up here in the home area, you might have to make some choices whether you will need to move um, or maybe even sublet where you're living uh, due to changes that might take you out of town uh, to do work, at least for a specific amount of time. I'm not that just talking here about July. This could be a new trend opening up that you might be uh, away from home uh, to fulfill a certain goal. And uh, But you shouldn't worry because I'm seeing that even if you have to live in two different areas, you'll still have the money to cover those expenses. So don't think about it. This will not open up and you will not take on any new such career change challenge unless that area is secured for you. So that might be, you know, the deal breaker if you're talking about taking on a new job that you will want to have uh, their approval of that security and you could get that. So uh, I'm seeing that you're, you're going to be um, not just setting money aside, but looking over shared resources, perhaps with your partner too, how this can come about and how you can do this so it's a smooth and nice transition and you will make that happen since we're talking about long distance and it may be what's what's going to tie in for you with this offer of work because when i'm looking in the area of long distance travel which could be a vacation but it could also just be any connection you have out of town out of state out of country well i'm seeing passion here there is something that's really going to Grab your attention. Uh, if you choose to go this direction here, I feel it could be, become very busy, new challenges to take on, but it's something that you can feel quite passionate about. And I'm seeing a lot of communication here of how to set things up, back-to-back -back communications. And uh, so you're, you're tackling, okay, if I do this, how am I going to steer and control those things at home if I'm gone? Well, that will also come to, to take care of itself. So don't worry too much because that can block your creative flow. Um, think practical when the practical part of your life now is coming in, but don't let it be a block. Look at the opportunity at hand at first. Look at what this can now open up, new portals and gateways of creativity and expansion. Look at that first and then Look at how you can secure things. This way, you won't lose out on any other goodies and details that might come in. Now, here, there's somebody around you. I feel this is a man who is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this man is moving ahead now. He's taking control 
of his life. He is staring ahead. He's ready to go. And uh, he is within the circle of friendships, or he also could be found here within a group. Um, and I'm feeling that somehow, some way, he would like to work with you or be supportive of you where you're you're heading maybe this could even be uh the person who's going to be offering uh you a new job or a new position in that case is can he be trusted is he reliable well as far as i can see right here he's got a good strategy going on and he is in control of what he's doing and he's successful and uh, so yes i do believe that you could trust him that whatever offer coming your way could be uh, quite successful for the overall. And uh, your reading then here kind of finalizes with the surprises by the end of the month and you're looking back at where you were at the end of June. Little did you know what was going to unfold for you throughout the month of July. I see that you are now looking at a different work scenario. Um, this, this is pretty much what your your entire reading is about, is the changes that are coming up that will influence you through money, income, work, um, uh, also a sense of celebration because there is somebody here within this group that you may be working with, uh, a highly influential person, great sense of personality, he's warm, he's outgoing, he's charming, he's got a, a great sense of humor and there's a, a sense and a feeling of mutual friendship here so this is somebody that might come in through this same doorway as also a third male so you got a lot of men showing up for you this month but they're all somehow tied into the path that you are now churning out for yourself because there's also here a professional person i'm seeing also showing up with work that um it may surprise you. Maybe there's something he's going to say. Um, maybe it's it's also just support of what is it is you're going to do. And uh, he might just say, this is great. Go for it. Do what you need to do. I'm behind you. So whoever this person is, you know, it could be a family member or uh, it could be a friend. Uh, but I'm feeling that this person's green light for whatever it is you're setting out to do is important to you, how you feel about things, that you're not being held back by, by somebody saying elsewise. So uh, as far as I can say, God, enjoy your month, Capricorn. I love it. And do have that great romantic moment here where you're off on this little trip or having this visit from a significant other uh, it will be absolutely delightful and something that you both at this point in your lives uh, deserve to have that time off. So listen, thank you for listening, uh, liking and sharing and uh, do listen to your partner's forecast for this month. See what's coming up for him or her and see how it is going to jive together with what's coming into place for you as well. That will give you some more insight. And uh, till next time, take care now. Bye now.